Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be opening the Marriott Bonfoy American Express credit card which I have this right here. Before I start uh, with the review and unboxing, I'd like to talk about a little bit about myself. I'm a credit card rewards points and international travel experts. I have uh, 20 plus credit cards and 800 plus credit scores and uh, there are many other reviews you'll find online. The difference between my review and 99% other review you'll come across online or on YouTube is that uh, they're working for the credit card companies and selling you credit cards and they're giving you dishonest and uh, biased opinions so you buy, their, uh, buy the credit cards or apply for the credit cards using the links provided in the article or in the description. So basically you're not going to get any honest or uh, true review but uh, my reviews are totally unbiased, honest and non-affiliated because I do not provide any affiliated links or I do not take money from anyone. Today I'm going to be opening up the Marriott Bonfoy American Express credit card and I have actually I'm going to be using a different format today for the first time. I have prepared some index cards which I have it right here and whenever I'm going uh, to uh, going through some points then or some main uh, features I'll be using the index cards to make things more uh, you know clearer and better so let's look at the envelope uh, the envelope we have is uh, fairly simple and uh, we'll just you know take out the package from inside the envelope I'll put this here and you can see that this is just a like you know uh, a very simple uh, packaging and uh, the credit card is going to be in here so which I'll just you know uh, set it aside for now and then we have here a, a standard credit card agreement and important information so in here you're going to find like you know everything you need to know about the credit cards and the minimum payment and the rewards structure and everything but uh, instead of going uh, through this uh, brochure or booklet I'm going to be using my own charts or own index cards so I'll just set this aside here And uh, the next thing I have here is that the information folder or information box. So here you're going to find the standard uh, information about uh, the credit card and uh, interest rates, you know, uh, minimum payment, uh, how interest rates are calculated, all sort of information. So I'm just going to set this aside for now and we'll start talking about the credit card. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the annual fee. So, the annual fee is $120 and the earn rate of the Marriott Bonvoy American Express is, uh, there are two different structures. So, first, uh, you spend $1 on Marriott properties and you get 5 points per dollar. Uh, and then, if you are using this card everywhere else then you're going to be using you're going to be getting two points per uh, dollar and these points are Marriott uh, Bonvoy points uh, which uh, you know Marriott Bonvoy is right now the largest hotel ch chain in the world after buying the Sheraton hotel chain so you're gonna have lots of flex flexibility and options about these points and I'll talk about this uh, more later so now let's talk about uh, the benefits. Uh, I'm going to uh, give you some highlights on the major benefits uh, and then uh, we'll talk about more uh, at the end. So the basic benefits of the card is that uh, you get a free anniversary night uh, every year uh, and the anniversary redemption uh, night cannot exceed more than 35,000 points. And actually I do have an example of this uh, because I'm going to be staying at the Delta uh, Toronto in downtown. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you, you know, how much uh, for my free nights, how much the hotel going is going on, and uh, what is the reason uh, that you know uh, if you want to keep this card only for this feature, which is a free anniversary night. And then you also get 15 elite night credit every year. So what it means that uh, you know uh, by default you're going to be uh, granted silver elite status plus 15 elite night uh, credit so if you just i believe if you spend 10 more nights then you're going to be get gold uh, status uh, so that's another benefits except these uh, the card doesn't have actually uh, too many benefits so i'll set this aside and let's move on to the next point 
so let's uh, talk about a little bit more about their uh, arm points or arm rates so I'm going to show you like you know how uh, this works and whether this is a good car to use for everyday spending or not so as I mentioned before that per dollar you're going to be get five points or two points uh, five points on Marriott properties and two points on everything else now the beauty of uh, Marriott Bonpot points is that you can convert them to 40 plus airlines uh, and yes airplane is included at 3 to 1 ratio so what it means that for each three Marriott points you're going to get one airline points for most of them uh, including airplane some of them uh, might have a different ratio but uh, I'm not going to like you know go into that so basically the major airlines for example uh, Avios, Aeroplan or other airlines you're going to get uh, one point per each three Marriott one five points but Marriott throws in a bonus 5,000 points if you redeem 60,000 points at a time. So what it means that uh, if you're redeeming 60,000 points, then instead of getting uh, 20,000 airline points, you're going to get uh, 25,000 airline points. So if you're using uh, airplane as an example, so for each 60,000 points, you're going to be getting 25,000 airplane points. So if you do that math then for each dollar spent on this card for everything else i'm not going to consider the marriott properties because if you have this card then most of you will be using it for everything else so each dollar is going to earn you two points which comes to 0.83 airplane points given the fact if you are uh, taking the bonus uh, 5000 point bonus and you're doing 60000 points at a time I do not recommend uh, redeeming uh, or transferring or converting lesser than 60,000 points because you're going to lose on the 5,000 point bonus. So let's say if you're doing that and if you are converting uh, two points based on per dollar spent, then your per dollar means 0.83 aeroplane, aeroplane points, which falls short of the other aeroplane cars in Canada. Uh, for uh, most of the aeroplane cars uh, you have in Canada, is going to give you one aeroplane point per dollar. So here you're going to get only 83 if you are doing the bonus transfer. So that's why this is not a car, good car to you know earn or to use for everyday. Uh, spending or for everything else but if you're using for on Marriott properties then, then definitely you can get uh, the points worth so now let me just uh, you know do a quick uh, comparison between uh, the Air, uh, Marriott uh, Bonvoy American Express and uh, the American Express Cobalt car American Express Cobalt car is a better car uh, in terms of your uh, spending if you are doing it at the selected categories where you're going to get uh, uh, five points per dollar spent on American Express Cobalt card. So what happens that you know for each American Express uh, membership uh, reward select points which is earned by Cobalt then you're going to earn it, it's going to convert into six Marriott points. So if you do the math that means that per one American Express Cobalt point translates into 1.2 Marriott points so if you're using it for the five time categories on Cobalt card then you're going to be earning six Marriott points per dollar spent on the Cobalt card which in other words for each dollar on Cobalt card you're going to be getting 2.5 airplane points with the 5000 uh, point bonus uh, you know if you do the conversion from Marriott to airline points so the way it works you're gonna to have to do transfer from Cobalt to Marriott and then Marriott to airplane or other airlines with the 5000 uh, bonus and what it means that if you're using a uh, per dollar you're spending a dollar on the Cobalt card on five times categories then you're gonna get 2.5 airplane points per dollar spent which is the highest in Canada comparing if you're spending one dollar on Marriott points then you're gonna get only 0.83 airplane points considering the bonus so that's why for everyday spending do not use this card but uh, use rather Cobalt card or any other card which is higher earn ratio than uh, 1 1.2.83 Marriott points or I'm sorry 1.2 0.83 airplane point uh, for example one cobalt 
one dollar spent on cobalt is going to get, get you 2.5 aeroplan if you are doing it on the five tons category. So now I'll talk about uh, how to use the Marriott points. Uh, Marriott points actually there are lots of ways you can use it. There is more than one way to redeem Marriott points. Uh, the first thing you can do is that you can directly redeem Marriott points uh, to Marriott hotel properties. And the redemption value you're going to get for this redemption is so so it's not that good not that bad it's kind of in the middle and the other way you can redeem uh, marriott points is to use flight redemptions directly from marriott website not through the you know airline uh, website or after converting the airline points so marriott has that option to uh, do a redemption for flights and if you do that if you redeem for flights directly from marriott website then the redemption rate is going to be very bad uh, so this is the worst redemption rate you're going to get and the third option you have is that you know you can convert marriott points to 40 plus airline points which is the best option to get so number one and number two uh, converting to hotel redemption or converting to flight redemption through marriott websites i do not recommend this uh, these two you're going to be wasting your points so if you want to get the best value of your points then always convert to the airline points for example aeroplan avios or other airlines with the bonus uh, 5000 k and that's how you should always be con converting marriott points to the best use so that's the next thing i'm going to be talking is the insurances provided by this card so the card actually does not have uh, many insurances it is a very poor card uh, when it comes to benefits and insurances so for example it has a travel accident insurance five hundred thousand dollar and uh, car rental and theft and damage control insurance and then you have the baggage deal insurance which is only five hundred dollars flight delay five hundred and hotel motel burglary five hundred so as you can see that it doesn't have any um, trip interruption trip can cancellation uh, and travel medical and all other travel insurances which you should always have when you're doing traveling so for insurances or benefits this is not a good card and i do not recommend this card now let's look at what uh, this card is missing uh, so as i just mentioned that uh, travel medical uh, trip interruption uh, trip cancellation and it doesn't provide you any concierge services. Uh, in general, most of the American Express cards are very poor in terms of uh, parks and benefits. They'll never give you concierge services unless you're paying like, you know, a uh, higher uh, annual fee for the platinum cards or higher, really higher end cards. But you can get concierge services in most of the $120 annual fee card. And then another feature this card is missing that there's no zero foreign transaction fee so each time you're going to be using this card to purchase anything non-canadian you're going to be paying a 2.5 percent foreign tra uh, currency transaction fee so for that reason i do not recommend this card to buy any foreign transactions or to do any foreign transactions so this is not a good card to have for other uh, for parks and features except the annual anniversary uh, hotel line now let me show you the card and then I'm going to give you a solid example why you should keep this card. So the card is going to be uh, right here and so here is the Marriott Bonvoy American Express freight card. So lately they have been removing the card number and everything from the top of the card and they're putting it on the bottom but they are not like you know kind of raised uh, numbers or letters like in the in the past so this has uh, this is very good for doing like in credit card reviews because I don't have to hide the numbers and everything and it looks I think a little bit better too uh, being uh, blank on uh, information so this is how the card looks like so this is the Marriott Bonvoy American Express credit card. Okay, now let me talk about whether you should have this card or not. If you appreciate staying in Marriott chain of hotels only once a year, uh, where you know the value can be. Uh, $250 or around 200 to 300 dollars 
then definitely you should have this card and if you're staying in married properties uh, you know or when you're traveling you're staying in married properties a lot then definitely you can have this card you should have this card uh, the reason because of the anniversary bonus night uh, you're gonna get each year one night free and the cost or the redemption uh, value for that night which is going to be uh, which is going to be paying off your $120 annual fee and uh, you're going to be on the plus side for example you're looking at the booking confirmation of Delta in downtown Toronto and when I booked uh, this uh, free anniversary night uh, redemption uh, so the room I got was going for a uh, $250 on the market so I paid annually uh, annual fee of $120 so I, I was on the plus side just for using only one feature of this credit card so to sum it up uh, this is a very good card if you're staying at Marriott properties or if you consider getting a free night uh, and if you like to stay you know uh, nice hotels uh, because you're going to be paying uh, you're going to be getting it for free which is going to be more than hundred twenty dollars but this is not a good card for everyday expenses or everyday spendings and this is not a good card for travel insurances or other travel benefits such as concierge services for zero foreign transaction fee but uh, this is a good card for staying for those who stay a lot at Marriott properties or who appreciate to uh, you know get a one annual free night every year so I don't mind keeping this card or holding this card uh, forever, paying $120 per annual fee, uh, and I'll be only using this just for the uh, free anniversary uh, bonus night. So this is the quick review and unboxing of the Marriott Bonvoy American Express Great Cars. Uh, on this channel, I do uh, travel videos and other videos, so I experience my travel and share it with you. And from time to time, I'll update you with my credit score, which is 800 plus, and I have uh, lots of great cards. So, thank you for watching, and uh, forget about subscribing this channel, forget about liking this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly.